What's your big sellers here? Okay. The most popular and, uh, and simple firearm that we have here. This is Smith & Wesson M&P 15. This is your bone stock basic as all get out vanilla. AR-15, or Modern Sporting Rifle. It's collapsible stock, so it can be adjusted to just about anybody's use. Pistol grip that can be altered. This is a Lego kit um, in, in so far as um, almost all parts can be switched out and changed for uh, the end user's needs. But this yeah. would be sort of the quintessential, most basic, inexpensive uh, uh, Modern Sporting Rifle that we would carry. I'm semi-unique here in that uh, I have uh, liberal views. Uh, on a great number of things. Uh, I think that our country is, is greatly polarized in a lot of senses, um, and, and I think that uh, a unification um, needs to take place. I think that there's a great deal of media hoping that we will tear each other apart. Mm. Um, and I don't think that the, being supportive of the police and all the good that they do, I don't think that's exclusive to also not caring what African Americans are going through or any ethnicity that's that's a minority. I mean, um, I think that the two can coexist and hold each other to a higher standard. Um, as as far as the firearm and the tool, I, I, I have a I consider it every day when I drive to work. I think about the moral weight that I should carry. I consider every single sale I make. Um, I sleep well at night knowing that. Uh, Though I may inadvertently sell a firearm used in a crime, that's, that's part of what you shoulder. I also may sell the firearm that saved someone's life. Um, that may seem like uh, rationalization. Yeah. Um, but uh, remember that there are 320 million, give or take, Americans. And there are roughly 300 million firearms in circulation. There's over 12 trillion rounds in circulation. Um, to put that in perspective, we barely have, I'd say, two million rounds in the store at the mm -hmm. moment, and um, the, it's a staggering number. Um, confiscation on this, this type of scale couldn't possibly yeah. work. No, it, uh, it's gone too far. You'd be also, yeah, it's sort of like the, the ship sailed mm -hmm. on that. Um, uh, it's so proliferate that I can't imagine a program in which, I mean, even a buyback, uh, say the price of a gun that you'd spend is sixteen hundred and fifty-nine dollars. That's was the buyback going to be a hundred dollars for a long gun, two hundred dollars for a pistol? That's absurd. I don't know a single person. Um, you would make overnight uh, this many people criminals mm. and uh, unpunishable in any way. And who's going to do the confiscation? Your brothers, your neighbors, your your police officers? I it's doubt it. The um, horse has bolted. And I don't seems, know. Uh, yeah, and I don't know if you uh, would how you think Americans would react to United Nations blue helmets and white Land Rovers. They would not shoot, well. shoot them in the face, probably. Yeah. <laughs> One would hope not, yeah. but, uh, <laughs> but I think you'd get a lot of people in their front yards going not today. Yeah. Um, it, it's, uh, we've, we've seen a lot of blood in this country, and in that way I don't think everyone's as afraid of blood as other nations are.